What's happening, everybody? It's the Spice King, Keith Loren, and this is yet another episode of Spice King Fit, where I show you recipes that will help you look well, feel well, move well, and live well. We're going to be losing weight. Over the next 16 weeks, my trainer, Mr. Cedric Kelly, one of the world's best trainers in the world, world's best, world's best. who won first place in a bodybuilding championship and is a professional, professional bodybuilder, yeah. nutritionist, diet specialist, you need to get in shape, right? fitness trainer. Listen, you want to look good, right? I want to be on a sexy train. You want to be on a sexy train, right? Wanna, I, this ain't Sea World. Yeah. I'm, not no black, I'm not no black yeah, man. No black, ain't no black man. I'm not a whale. Uh -uh. You know, nope. I got to look good. This ain't the circus. Nope. I'm tired of wearing tents. You know, I want to have form-fitting shirts. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to do that, we have to make our outside match the beauty that is within inside ourselves, right? Exactly. That's what we got to so do. So today, yeah. we're going to make a healthy recipe on Spice King Fit. Mm -hmm. We're going to be making a ginger-spiced orange chicken with steamed broccoli and mashed sweet potatoes. And it's really healthy and delicious. See, if we break that down right. to the meal plan, right? chicken, rice, I mean, chicken, sweet potato, and broccoli. Broccoli. Yeah. Sounds like a typical bodybuilder meal. Right. But look how we jazz it up. But there's more. Look how we jazz it up. And there's more. You see what I'm saying? If you take a look, guys, I have a whole line of gourmet seasonings called Spice King by Keith Loren. They're available in Walmart, Stop and Shop, Big Y, Jewel Osco, and HEB. And when you get these spices, you're getting one of a kind flavors. Spices that are infused with aromatic essential oils, trace minerals, um, and over 24 herbs and spices in each blend. There are state-of-the-art spices. They're perfectly curated, and it's really going to take your food to the next level. Listen, we're on a diet, but it don't have to taste like it. Don't have to taste we like it. We season our food here. Yes, sir. All right, so let's get let's get to work. We're going to get started. Um, so we're gonna make, we're making ginger broccoli chicken, orange spice ginger. And broccoli chicken yes and we're heating up our pan the first thing we're going to do is we're going to steam our broccoli so i have my wok here i'm just going to add a little bit of water just a little bit of water and i'm going to wait till it starts bubbling up and getting hot and we're going to add our broccoli now all of these meal plans are portioned so that we can lose weight we can feel great we can lose weight and feel great lose weight and feel great you know, when less we travel, car, less carbs. Less we're going more first food. class. We're riding on the sexy train. You know, in in sixteen weeks. No, no, no. Are you going to be in the caboose or are you going to be the conductor of the sexy Listen, train? Listen, I'm the conductor of the I'm sexy saying, train. I only ride in the sexy train oh, from now on. on. Ain't no coach bit. Ain't no, <laughs> listen, listen. We're riding on the sexy train. Yes, so sir. the first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to start steaming up our broccoli. I only added a little bit of water in here, and I'm just going to put a top on it just so I can. You know, continue to steam. While it's steaming, we're gonna add a little bit of chicken stock just to help flavor the broccoli as it could. This is fat-free chicken stock. But just to season the broccoli as it steams now. You know, just because we're cooking with low fat doesn't mean it has to be bland. Mm -hmm. If it's bland, throw it in a trash can. Wow. You know what I'm talking about? So in our hot pan here, I'm adding a little bit of olive oil, like two tablespoons of olive oil just so it doesn't stick. You know, we have to have a little bit of olive oil here so our chicken doesn't stick. And I'm adding our chicken straight to, and I don't want to touch this with my hand, so I'm going to grab my trusty tongs. Go ahead and grab the tongs. Cross-contamination. I just used a fork. It, it's not good. We're go. going to add our chicken. You hear that sizzle? Mm. In our hot pan. We're gonna add some fresh garlic and ginger in here. There we go. So, Seth, why don't you start telling everybody how you got started in fitness? We all have our own particular reasons why we get into fitness. It could be vanity, it could be health. I decided to start helping people as I started to find myself changing and feeling better every day. Why not share that feeling? So when I started making meal plans, I started doing uh, fitness coaching for people, and I said, you know what, I want to take this serious, take it to the next level, get certified, make sure that everything is legit, and right. make sure we get everybody on this sexy thing. So what I'm doing now is I have this pan on extremely high heat. I'm not going to turn the chicken now so that it can sear. I want just a little bit of color on here, okay? I want a little bit of color. 
It smells great. It smells great. While this is in this state, I'm gonna put some fresh cracked black pepper. Right? I'm going to add a little bit of the Spice Kings Gourmet All-Purpose Seasoning on here that's available at Stop and Shop, Walmart, Jewel Osco, Big Y, and HEB. You know, support small businesses. When I, when I say small, I don't mean that my business is small. I mean that we started small and we started on YouTube and we were successful despite the, the challenges. Right. Thanks to you, thanks to the divine creator, we're successful. We started small. But now we're, we here. But now we here. Now we here. So as this is, is sauteing now, and I have it on cooking on high heat, I put a little bit of the Spice King seasoning in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more. It looks like it needs just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Now when you're trying to make things a little bit healthy, you might be saying, oh, we don't need the salt. Get a, it's get too a much salt, get too a much closer. salt, there's too much sodium. Look, I have Keith drinking a gallon and a half to two gallons of water a day. We don't have to worry about the sodium. I'm checking out his levels every week. We have a live Zoom every Friday to see how he's been doing and progressing in his journey. Okay, and I'll right. adjust it as we go. This, my spices are so low in sodium that it won't affect you. What's that you add? Now this is a hot chili pepper. Okay. It's called Harissa. It's just ground red chili. I used to know a Harissa. Not, not um, that Harissa. Yeah, she used to you sell know. earrings on Thursday. No, not, not that one now. Not that one? No. See, our broccoli is steaming up perfectly. You see that? Good. It's steamed up perfectly. I'm not gonna overcook it. And guess what? It's done. You put butter in there? No, ain't no, ain't no butter. We're not using no butter. No We're butter. not using no heavy whipping cream. No heavy whipping cream. We're not doing none of that. That's the old, that was the old me. Mm -hmm. But the new me is on the sexy train. See? You hear me? It's a task right here. Cooking without butter, without oil. It is. But, you know, we're going to do it so that it's tasty. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to miss the calories because we have flavor. Say it again. You're not going to miss the calories. We're not missing the calories yeah. because we have flavor. Now, I took a, in a blender this. some scallions, garlic, cilantro, parsley. You know, I made a, a, a green seasoning. I'm just gonna add a little bit of it in there. And there's no salt in that. No. That's just straight vegetables. Yeah. There's certain things that you can learn how to season your food without using salt. Get away right. from the Lowry's. Put the Lowry's away. Now, I have a seasoned sea salt. Your body needs salt to thrive. But it this, does. This salt has 72 trace minerals in it. So when you use it, it's going to beautify you. It's gonna give you all the minerals that you're lacking in the food from the ocean. Okay? So now that this is sauteing, we got our garlic and ginger in here. It's browning up. We're gonna, we're gonna do some magic. You ready? I'm ready, Houdini. We're gonna do some magic. You ready? Bikini Houdini. We're gonna take Houdini. half of an orange and we're gonna zest this half of an orange. And we're gonna get all of this orange zest in the chicken as it cooks. Because what kind of chicken is this? This is a ginger. Ginger spiced orange chicken. And so you need orange to give you it that need flavor. Orange. You need orange. So why are you using the. Uh, all the oil. Just like my spice. Just like. When you walk into a room and you wear perfume, mm -hmm. you're smelling the oils of the plants. Likewise, in the rind, when you sniff the orange, you're smelling the essential oils of the, of the orange. And so my spices have those same qualities because we infuse the spices with essential oils so that it has the best flavor possible. So you're adding flavor without adding, adding calories. Without adding calories and extra salt. There you go. Now that we zest the, the orange, we're gonna take the orange juice now for a little sweetness. We're gonna add the orange juice in here like this. Mm. Mm. Right inside the chicken. Y'all better stay out of panda, look at this. Y'all see that? Right. We're adding it and I'm squeezing it good now. I want all that juice in the chicken. We're not using sugar, we're just gonna use a natural orange. Your body can easily digest this <clears throat> and um, it tastes great. Now guess what else we're gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna add one teaspoon of sesame oil. Sesame oil has so many health benefits and it's a great flavor. Add a little bit of sesame oil and now we're gonna add like a quarter cup of natural soy sauce. 
Just enough. Now you're cooking how many portions here? Now this is three portions. Three portions. So use about a, a tablespoon of soy This sauce. is three portions here. Yeah, three portions. But that smells so wonderful, you guys. It does. It smells so great. If and there was any time for smell of vision. This it's pretty. Yeah, it's you see pretty. that sauce see down color? there? You see, the color happening? you see that sauce down there? Now guess what I'm gonna do, just to be a little extra fancy. I used to know what Amadou too. He was from Nigeria. No, that's not the one we're talking about. I'm for real, used to hem my pants on one seven. No, but that's not that's not what we're going for. Alright. Now I had a I had a now at home. If you have onions, you can add some sliced onions in there. If you so choose. But we're gonna go simple today. Simple. Look how good that smells and looks. Mm. It looks flavorful. It does look like it smells good. Oh, wonderful. Right. Wonderful. Beautiful, beautiful. So you got the flavor coming from the orange. We're not adding too many, the too much more calories from the ginger. You got, you got the garlic. Flavor. You got the garlic, you got that clean broccoli. See, this type of food that'll keep you up, not lay you down. Right, and, it, and, and it'll get you up, if you know what I'm talking about. Well, we're gonna take our broccoli now, guys. Well, first I'm gonna I'm gonna let this chicken just cook a little bit more. So I, I, I like my chicken tender. Mm -hmm. Now remember, this is for three days, so you're gonna be putting this in the microwave. Right. Um. So you usually, notice I didn't overcook the broccoli. Right. So 165 is the temperature you want to serve your chicken at, but because we're gonna be microwaving this, you can get away with the 160. That way, when you microwave it, it doesn't taste like rubber. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some Chinese rice wine vinegar. Just for a little building, acidity. Building flavors, building flavors. A little vinegar, rice wine vinegar. Now, if you were doing it, just doing this the real way, you'd add so much sugar. Mm -hmm. you add, you'd add more oyster sauce, more soy sauce, but you know, we're cutting calories. And we're gonna get all the flavor, but without that extra stuff. Now, the chicken is done, guys. We just have to add our, our broccoli in here like this. You see that? Our broccoli's already done. So guess what I'm gonna do? What you gonna do? I'll turn it off the heat. Okay. Look y'all, it's done. I'm gonna give this a toss. Let the broccoli get it all in the sauce. You see that? Look at that. Look at the chicken. I see that cause I'm looking at that. You see all of that? Yeah. We done. Now I'm gonna show you how to plate it up. You ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna grab a plate right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna also grab our portion plates. These are the plates that we have when we're doing the meal prep. We put, the, we put our food in the meal prep containers, which you can get at keithloren.com, at icecoldfitness.com, and you can store the food in the refrigerator. So when you're at work, you can pop it in. There's no excuse to stop at the fast food restaurants because you have everything. And now that we're home, if you Netflix and chilling, you got you it. don't want to get Panda Express. Listen, ain't no Panda Express. What? You got that uh, Kitchen no Express. No Panda Express? Uh, Kitchen Express. Kitchen Express? Spice King Express. Spice King Express. Make for your House Express. Food? Save that bread. Your House Express. Save your bread and your waistline. Listen, y'all. We're going to take our sweet potato, right? It's been roasted. Roasted sweet potato, so it's tender. And we're gonna open it up like, see, I like to eat the skin of my sweet potatoes because- That's where the nutrients are. Th there's nutrients in there, there's fiber in there. So a lot of y'all are out here, you know, you have pot bellies because you are backed up. Now I'm overweight now, mm -hmm. but ain't no pot bellies over here. Sweet potatoes. We go, <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> what we gonna do now, y'all? I want to. I want to make something special for my that sweet potato. Color. That's a great looking sweet. I'm potato. just gonna take a little bit of cinnamon. There you go. Just a little drop of cinnamon here, mm. and I'm gonna sprinkle cinnamon on top of my sweet potato. You know why? Because cinnamon helps regulate blood sugar. Cinnamon is anti-parasitic. Um, it's it's a really great thing to consume. Mm. Spices are medicine. You understand? Food is made to heal, not to hurt. Right. Wipe some of this cinnamon off the plate so it doesn't interfere with our garnish. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna take our chicken and broccoli. We're gonna put it right on top of our sweet potato. Remember, 
We're gonna divide everything that we cooked into three. We're gonna put that right on top. And when you get your meal plan, everything will be portioned out by the gram, ounce, or kilo, no matter where you are in the Americas. So you'll be able to measure out all your food. Everything will be customized to you like a custom suit. Custom suit's just better. That's right. So get a it plan made better. for you. Come to Ice Cold Fitness on, I, on Instagram, icecoldfitness.com, ice mm -hmm. and get you a meal plan. Right. Get you a consultation. So ladies and gentlemen, now Look I'm going to take some of that sauce. Y'all know I love my sauce. And I'm going to take the sauce and just ladle that orange sauce mm. all over the chicken and the sweet potato so we get that flavor. Now that and then amazing. I'm going to take some fresh cilantro <clears throat> and I'm going to place the cilantro around the plate. Now it's perfect. Now it's done. Look at that. You see that? Perfect. Done. Easy. Fast. And I would I would like to bet that we're under 20 minutes. Ginger spiced orange chicken. How long did we talk about? Three minutes? We 16 minutes in. 13 oh, minutes. You made that. You have three meals. You made that in under 15 minutes. We have three meals. Now that's pretty now. That's very that's a very attractive looking dish. That's for three days. You could go to any restaurant and get this dish. But we ain't doing all that. We ain't doing all that. We're eating at home. We're losing weight. We're getting on a sexy train. We're not sacrificing no flavor, but we're cutting calories out. Mm. We're cutting those unnecessary carbs out. Cutting them out. Cutting the unnecessary sugar. You gotta out. cut off all the bad people, all the bad. So now toxins. you may be wondering now, well, how would you do it in the to-go container? Are you gonna show them? I'm gonna show you. All right, let's see. You know why I'm gonna show them? Why? Spice King's gonna get you there right. There you go. I can show you better than I can tell you now. I got to get you right, huh? Let's get so we're gonna do the same thing. Take your sweet potato. I like to, if you wanna take the skin off, and I washed it, and these are organic, um, but I wanna eat my skin because it's, it's fiber, it's nutrients. It's the first outer layer of protection that the plant has. And so when you consume it, you're getting all those protective nutrients as well. Mm -hmm. You understand? You are what you eat. So I'm taking our, our one third of our mixture here, and I'm putting it right on top of our sweet potato, yeah. and I'm piling it sky high because we're close to God. We want to get it. There you go. Look at the colors. Look at what's going on here. That looks great, Keith. And I'm going to take some of our <clears throat> orange sauce, mm. drizzle that on top just like that. And mm. I, you know what? I need one more little piece of broccoli just, just right there. There it is. And guess what else we're gonna do? I'm guessing, but I, I don't know. We're gonna put a little cilantro on top. Of course. You know why? Why? Because we got, when people see our meals, what, what we, we gotta do? motivate them to eat healthy too. Mm -hmm. Look at that, y'all. They gonna say, what's that, DoorDash? No, that's not Spice is that, Dash. Is that Uber Eats? No, 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 no. This is the Spice King Dash. That's Ice Spice Seats This right is Uber there. Spice. Uber Spice? Uber Spice King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, listen, on, in all seriousness, we joke around a lot, but we gotta be serious about taking care of our health. We gotta be serious about, we are walking representations of our selves, of the divine, of all of, of everything. And so we gotta look good. We gotta feel good. We gotta do good. And we gotta eat good. This is the Spice King, Keith Loren. I have the world's best trainer here, Cedric Kelly. Follow him at Ice Cold Fitness. Come get you a custom meal plan. You can make this food at home. Everything portioned out for you. Easy, simple dishes. If you want to go somewhere, you have to have direction. Where are you going? Where are you going? I don't know. We're headed to the spicy train. Type it in the GPS. We're on the spice train. We're right on now. it. The sexy train. I'm on it. We're on the sexy I've train. I've been on it, man. I want you guys to get in shape with us. Over the next 16 weeks, we're going to be transforming our body. We're gonna, we have the meal plans up, the exercise routines up. Um, you have the spices at KeithLoren.com. You can get them at Walmart, Stop It Shop, Big Y, Julasco. Support us. You know, um, we have the best products. We want to make you feel good, look good. Look good. And we want you to get rave reviews on your food. There you go. Thanks for watching. I love you. And we'll see you on the next episode. Now it's time for